Hey guys, Thread Designs here, and today I'm back with the mood tutorial, and I'm going to be teaching you how to create this very simple and very quick and easy effect to do. Uh, I'm going to call it a light burst effect because it looks like it's bursting out towards uh, you or the viewer, and I think it looks pretty cool. And you can customize this any way you want. Uh, and I'm just going to be teaching you like this simple, quick, and easy tutorial. So first off, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new document 1080p 1920x 1080p, and I'm going to drag my image in. I think this looks best with people in it, so it looks like they're like bursting out. It looks really cool. You can try this with anything, really, any image or any design, and I would still it still look pretty cool. So it's just something really quick. And um, so once you drag your image into your new document. You're going to want to duplicate your layer with Control Command J, and uh, right click on it and rasterize it. And then go to Filter, Blur, uh, Radial Blur, and then we're gonna choose it. By default, it should be on Spin. So let's choose Zoom, and I always put it on Best. I think it looks the best, ha, huh? pun intended. But I'm going to put it at around 71. Yeah, 70 range. I think that looks good because too much it does not look good or depends how you make it It would look good, but then you have this and it just takes away from the actual image So we're going to create a clipping mask by selecting the clipping layer down here not clipping mask sorry uh, a layer mask and Hitting the mask button here, and then we're going to select our brush make sure you're painting in black and if it's not in black, press D and um, to go to your default colors, then press X to go to black. Just make sure you're painting with black and then you're just going to paint with your brush around. So you still have, um, for in my example, you have the girl right here and it still looks like she's bur like the light is bursting. And then we're going to um, like just make sure it's selected on her only and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to white and I'm gonna uh, subtract oh, actually black sorry and then we're gonna subtract from her right it's so only the outer edges um, you're just gonna paint with white on the outer edges so the outer edges only have that like burst effect it looks really cool just um, something like this and then you can turn down the opacity to something around 60% so it gives it like that faded look and I think it looks really cool or you can turn it up a little bit more and then put a blending mode overlay uh, actually no uh, not too much just I'm gonna leave it on normal but you can turn down the opacity and you still get this burst effect and again, this was supposed to be super simple and super easy to make. And this has been a tutorial by the Ride Designs. And see you in the next one. Bye.